Hey there, it's Brian Sanders with HSC UAV. Just wanted to walk some of you through uh, the process of downloading flight logs from your XAG P100 Pro or similar other XAG model in the case that you can't pull the logs through your app itself. There's also instructions on this. The document I'm going through with you today is in our knowledge base at support.hse-uav.com. And what I'm looking at right now is the XAG service manual. Now, the pages on this uh, currently, as of the time of this recording, it's uh, PDF page 673, chapter 16-70, uh, but those numbers can change. The part uh, that you can also find this by just searching the PDF, control F, and then typing in the word log. I always start at the very end. I think there were 35 results, um, but that's the document that, I, that we're going through today. So um, this is a case, you know, perhaps that the aircraft crashed during a flight and the log never finished syncing with your app. Maybe that's why you can't find the log or some other reason similar to that. There's some things that you're gonna need uh, to have here. First is a laptop um, or a device nearby that the drone can reach to on a cable. Uh, you can use a type A or a USB-C to USB-C. The main thing is that the end of it needs to be a USB-C because that's the flight controller hookup. Now, if you're using a, a type C to type A USB, you need to make sure that it's a data cable, not just a charging cable. It's not super common to find just a charging cable, but it does need to be able to transmit data. So if the first cable you use doesn't work, try a different one. USB-C to USB-C is gonna be your best bet. Now, uh, some of these examples go through different models of drones. This is a P40 at the top. Notice also how much different the wiring and how much improved the wiring has gotten over the years. P40, a V40 here. Most commonly a P100 or a P100 Pro will look more like this. Much nicer layout here on wires. Again, this is chapter 16-70. Uh, and then basically what you're gonna do, it talks about what the actual wire is titled based on the aircraft. We're gonna scroll down and look at P100, P100 Pro. On the bottom of the hood of the aircraft itself, you'll see the wiring diagram. We're looking specifically for wire number 102. They're all labeled, as you'll see. We're looking for the one that says terrain radar. And on the side of that wire, you'll actually see a USB port. That's where you're going to plug the wire in. So you're, if your USB-C to USB-C and the cable is the right, you might actually be able to power the flight controller without turning it on. You'll know that because the LEDs on the flight controller will turn on. If not, just power up the aircraft. And then you're gonna open your uh, uh, my computer or whatever your browser um, for uh, uh, looking at your files is gonna be. And you're gonna go to um, open devices and printers because it's gonna be plugged in as like a removable or an external drive. And then you're gonna go in uh, and copy all of the files in the flight controller uh, drive to the laptop. You just set them you know, in a folder on your desktop there. Then you're gonna zip the files. So your control A, highlight all those files, right click, and then you'll see something. I'm just pulling it up on another screen here. I know you can't see it, uh, but it'll say something like compress to zip file or zip files, something to that effect. Um, this works best on a PC, so if you're a laptop or a MacBook person, um, try to find a PC. There are ways to do it, but sometimes Mac adds in their own file types and it will it will uh, not cleanly transfer over. Uh, and then the rest of this document talks about emailing it into XAG. This is a service manual for us as uh, resellers, distributors, dealers. Um, so don't actually email the documents into XAG. It'll just cause a mess. Uh, they'll fall into kind of a deep, dark hole. Send them to us, uh, whatever support technician, or attach them to the tech it, uh, that you've created, and uh, we'll get it going for you. Okay? Any questions, again, support.hse-uav.com is where you'll find this manual and other guides, uh, and you can always give us a call if you get stuck. All right. Thanks again. Talk to you soon.